Hi, Friday, uh, June 17th, 2016. Uh, my Echo 64 here, home of uh, alternative economics and contrarian views. Today, I'd like to talk about the honest former central banker, and that is Mervyn King, who was the uh, governor of the Bank of England, which is the equivalent uh, of what uh, Janet Yellen is, chairman of the Federal Reserve. He was governor from 2003 to uh, 2013 for 10 years. So he he was around during the great financial crisis and after it and before. He was chief economist of the Bank of England uh, before that and deputy governor. So he's a man with experience. I know uh, a lot of my viewers and myself do not believe in the institution of central banking because it's basically a monopoly uh, that and also it's a bureaucracy that controls, you know, the price of money, which should really be controlled by the market. But I, uh, he has written a book and the book is called The End of Alchemy, Money, Banking and the Future of the Global Economy. So uh, and before I get into uh, an interesting part of the book, I'm going to talk about the yield curve uh, for the bond market. With especially the government bond markets, the yield curve is just a plot of interest rates uh, at different maturities. So uh, let's say one month uh, bill uh, for UK gilts, let's say it yields 1%. It's a lot less now, but let's just use 1%. Uh, the three month will yield uh, 1.2. The one year will yield 2 you know, the, the five year will yield three, the 10 year will yield 5%, 30 year, year will yield 6%. And usually a normal yield curve is uh, upward sloping because it's, uh, you know, when you lend money to, to uh, a borrower for a longer period, there's more risk associated with that. So you demand a higher return. So recently, well, since, uh, the beginning of the year, we, we've seen the uh, yield curves flatten a lot in the developed world. And even in Europe, the longer term rates are all going negative. For example, the German government bond right now, uh, the 10 year is zero. It was negative a few days ago. It's come back up a little bit. I've heard the Swiss uh, 30 year yield has gone negative, you know, so it's crazy. It, it just shows that uh, investors and speculators are driving these yields down. Investors may be because they're concerned about the economy. And uh, the other interesting thing about the yield curve is that um, it can invert. Basically, when the economy overheats, the short-term rates uh, become higher than the longer term rates. And that slows down, you know, uh, lending because banks, they make their money from borrowing uh, at lower rates in the sh you know, short term and then lending at higher rates in the long term. And, you know, there's an arbitrage. So it's not uh, surprising then that all the European banks ever since the ECB surprise earlier this year, and uh, cut rates to negative, and also the BOJ, Bank of Japan. All the European banks, you know, and I talked about Deutsche Bank yesterday, they are all uh, look pretty, you know, their stock prices look pretty sickly. They're near the, you know, the low since the, the great financial crisis. And also the U.S. yield curve is not as bad but it has been flattening in uh, uh, two th oh, about three weeks ago. I think I talked about how it was flattening from the two year to the 10 year it was around 95. Right now it's about 90. So it is flattening and it's uh, flattening mostly because the 10 year yield is coming down quicker than the two year yield. And the, f and the other thing it says is that investors don't really buy into the recovery story that the Federal Reserve has been you know, trying to sell. And we saw, uh, you know, on Wednesday that Janet Yellen is actually doesn't know what's going on. She said, I, we are quite uncertain about where rates are going. So, and they don't want the curve 
to invert because that would hurt uh, the credit system because banks would start losing money and banks are the engine of the uh, fiat money credit system. So yeah, uh, we're not global economies, especially developed country economies are not doing well. And I think that's the big story of 2016. You know, the Fed has been trying to, to cheerlead everything and it's not uh, really uh, coming true. You know, they spent trillions uh, trying to get things going again and it hasn't. And the reason why I'm talking about this and now the, the book about, you know, that Mervyn King wrote, even though, you know, I haven't finished the book, I, I've just started reading it. Uh, here it is, uh, Mervyn King's book. I've just started reading it, and, but I s found an interesting uh, paragraph or point he's made in the introduction of the book. And uh, I'm reading here from the book. Uh, let's see. Today, the world economy remains in a depressed state. Enthusiasm for policy stimulus is back in fashion and the wheel has turned full circle. So notice how he says the world economy remains in a depressed state. You know, and uh, he doesn't say the world economy is recovering. And he says, this is, book was published this year. He says, the recession is hurting people who are not responsible for our present predicament, and they are naturally angry. There is no need to channel that anger into a care. There is a need to channel that anger into a careful analysis of what went wrong and a determination to put things right. So basically, he's admitting that we are in a depression, uh, and that that we are in a recession. You know, the economy remains a depressed state. It's very clear. He says the recession is hurting people. He's not saying the recovery. So I'm sure he wouldn't be saying that if he was still at the Bank of England. So um, there you go. Uh, Mervyn King or Lord King, former Bank of England governor, admitting we're still in a recession. So I know we've been, uh, there's a lot of people talking about a market top, you know, S&P and Dow is going to crash. And, you know, the Fed or whoever, they've been able to keep those you know, those prices elevated, but you look at, uh, you know, the other indices like the DAX and the FTSE, we are uh, way off the highs from, from May last year. You know, the FTSE is around 6,000 right now, and the high was above 7,000. The DAX as well is around 10,000. I'm not too sure exactly, but it got up to above, above 13,000. So that's not a good indicator. So that's what I wanted to talk about. You know, uh, it looks like, you know, you have to have been retired and be out of central banking to actually tell what's really going on. And I, I thought it would be interesting to let you guys know what Mervyn King thinks. And uh, so according to him, we're still in a recession and nothing has been solved. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and uh, share, and uh, take care. Bye.